Hi, boom, wagwan. Or if you prefer, hello, how are you? I hope you're well. It's Kit Man and Man, and I'm back again with another video. And uh, this one is Where do I get my football shirts from? Cool. So, listen, as always, before we get all the way into this, make sure you hit a thumbs up. Gems in this one, alright? Yeah, subscribe to the channel because all the content is good round right there. Yeah, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss an upload. And as always, just enjoy the video. And always, 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 always get asked the same questions, right? On my social media accounts, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on Facebook, even in real life, people that know I collect football shirts always ask me the same questions, right? How do I spot fake shirts and where do I get my shirts from? I have already answered the questions on how to spot fake shirts, um, done a little video, um, I'm gonna link it above there. Time to now tell you guys where I get my shirts from. Um, and there is no one answer, there is no one stop shop to buy football shirts. Um, I get my shirts from literally everywhere. Uh, I do everything from going to charity shops, uh, I shop on major retailers, um, individuals, and I'll go into like everything and I'll break it down into little sections um, and I'll have some recommendations. I would say for my collection, initially I bought a lot of shirts off of eBay, um, especially at the beginning when I was just buying this shirt and that shirt, didn't really have any rhyme or reason or method to my collection. I just wanted loads of football shirts so I spent a lot of money and a lot of time and bought a hell of a lot of football shirts on eBay. Um, eBay is a good platform for buying shirts. There are a lot of fakes around but you have to know what you're looking for and have little um, tips and tricks on what to look for. Again, I refer you back to that video uh, where I talk about how to spot fakes. But the good thing with eBay is, is that if you do buy a fake shirt, they guarantee you your money back. All you have to do is just raise a complaint with eBay and the seller will have a certain amount of time to get back to you. If they don't, eBay, or you can't come to an agreement within that time, eBay will step in and because it's a fake shirt, they will just refund you your money if it wasn't, especially if it wasn't described as a fake shirt. Depop is very similar. I tend not to use Depop that much. Um, I have bought a few shirts from Depop, but I don't use Depop that much because there seems to be a culture on Depop where people do not put the tags, um, like the code numbers and stuff. Um, so again, I refer you back to the same video on most modern shirts, especially from the three major retailers like uh, Puma, Adidas and Nike. They have a uh, serial code where you can cross-reference it on Google and it tells you whether it's uh, fake or not. And um, I'm not too sure on uh, Depop's money-back guarantee. I think they do have one. I haven't run into any issues with uh, Depop, so I wouldn't quite know. If anyone does know, let the people them know underneath. As I started to collect more specific items, I veered a little bit further away from eBay. I do still buy shirts from eBay. Um, and I started to use the community because the community of football shirt collectors is unreal. It is an amazing space, like a genuinely amazing, amazing space. And the majority of shirts that I've ever wanted, someone somewhere in the world has it. Right, so when I say I use social media, on Twitter, there's a page called ShirtX, and I've mentioned them a few times on here, and they basically run a thread. Uh, they run different threads every day, so one day it might be what you want, or some people that have shirts to sell, they'll have a sales thread, they'll have a 90s thread, and uh, FKW Full Kit Wankers run something very, very similar. And uh, Full Kit Wankers also have like a huge Facebook community, uh, Facebook page that does the same thing where people are trading and selling and buying and selling shirts all over. 
Um, there's always there's also like an Arsenal specific one as well, and I'm sure most other clubs, uh, most other fan bases have one specific for their um, for for their teams, uh, where people buy and sell and trade shirts. I've actually got FKW and Shirt X as a notification, so whenever they post. Um, it comes up and they also if you tag them in a lot of things a lot of the time they will um, retweet your um, tweet for whatever it is that you're looking for if you're selling they'll retweet it so it reaches a vast amount of people and that seems to be a really good way to um, sell shirt uh, to buy shirts um, what I would say is is it can be a little bit of a minefield when it comes to paying for shirts and stuff I tend to use um, PayPal a lot and you can sell thing, you can buy things, sorry, as a product. A lot of sellers will prompt you to do it as family and friends because they don't have to pay the fees or you don't have to pay the fees, so it works out a little bit cheaper. But you are well within your rights to ask um, someone that you may not really know. If it's someone that's new to the community or someone that you're not too sure of and that no one's vouched for, um, I'd probably suggest doing it uh, as uh, don't doing it not doing it as family and friends and I know a lot of people are going to get really angry with me now but we're dealing with people's peace of mind and on the few occasions where I have actually refused to pay um, to do uh, friends and family I have just paid the extra two pound difference or whatever it is for um, goods or commodities I think it's called um, just for a little bit of peace of mind. So if anything does go wrong, you can get your money back um, with uh, PayPal. Also on the social media, uh, especially on Instagram, there are a few accounts who um, often have shirts for sale. So uh, accounts like um, Wise Out, uh, all of these accounts and all these things will be linked below as well. Um, so uh, people like Wise Out, uh, he has a Depop page, but I tend to speak to him more directly on Instagram. Um, Gen Sock Nation football shirts. Um, he does some really quite premium shirts. Uh, he does a few raffles as well, which is something we'll talk about in the other video that I'm going to be doing where we talk about the pricing of shirts. Uh, Fresh Shirts UK has tends to have a lot of shirts for sale. Uh, Big Pete again has a lot of shirts for sale. Uh, Infinity Football shirts have a lot of shirts to sell as well. Um, and these are just like a small section of the people within the community that have like great shirts to sell. Also, we have the big boys where I buy shirts from. So you have the manufacturers themselves. So you have the Nikes, the Pumas, the Adidas. They talk more about this when we talk about the price of shirts, but there are deals to be had on those sites, especially if you're willing to wait a little while. Direct from the club shops is also somewhere where I buy shirts from. Um, well, I say club shops, Arsenal mainly, but I, I bought a few Dortmund shirts direct from the club shop. I bought my Ajax uh, Bob Marley shirt direct from the club shop. Um, and then Sports Direct, I buy from, yes, I know Mike Ashley is a pain in the bottom, but sometimes it is what it is. Kit bag, I buy shirts from uh, Pro Direct. I get shirts from like there are literally loads and loads and loads of shirts and another good thing about the community is if you're ever unsure about a particular website just drop a quick tweet within the community tag one of the people that I've just spoken about um, in or whatever or just follow some people and get some poly people to follow you back or just ask someone can you vouch for this site people will say either yes this site is a legit site or this shirt uh, this site isn't um, and there are ways of spotting whether um, sites sell fake shirts or not. And I spoke about that again in the previous video. Um, and I also buy a lot of shirts from a lot of independent sellers that have websites. So just regular guys that have football shirt, uh, football shirt pages. Uh, so guys like uh, One Clock Shop, SH Shirts. Sporting Nostalgia, Kitman's Boot Bag, Throwback Jerseys NZ, uh, DJM Football Shirts, CasualFootballShirts.co.uk, sites like Mundial Retro Kits. Um, there's loads, like literally loads. 
Um, and most of them can be found on Instagram and Twitter. So if you need to just verify and uh, need people to vouch for, just to have a look and see if they're legit. Like, they're, they're all literally low. And then also you have your big boy independents, like cult kits and uh, classic football shirts, where I have also bought uh, a fair few shirts from over the years. But, like, literally, it's all about just doing your own little research and finding the best places to buy football shirts. I also go into, uh, I do a lot of shopping for football shirts outside as well. So whenever I see a charity shop, I always go and have a butcher's and have a look to see if there's a football shirt in there. Uh, places like TK Maxx and uh, just random thrift stores um, all over, wherever I am, I have a look to see if I can find football shirts. Um, and yeah, just the community. I would say the best place to find football shirts is probably within the community. You'll probably get better prices as well within the community, just uh, on Instagram and Twitter or whatever, and just chatting, pe chatting to people and just building up a rapport and a relationship with um, people. So I hope that's answered um, a lot of the questions for you guys that uh, you've been asking as to where I buy my football shirts from. Um, if you enjoyed the video, Make sure you drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more amazing football shirt content. And um, yeah, man, until next time, I've been Kit Man and Man. Peace.